The tricycles are a familiar sight at the Busia border town, especially on the Ugandan side. A new person visiting Busia, you may be surprised or shocked by the number of disabled men and women riding these bikes. Sembatia Ronald is disabled and one of the new tricyclists in town. He hails from Iganga district, about 80 kilometers from Busia. Ronald moved to Busia a few years back to seek for employment and joined the transport business. Our business so far has been difficult a bit because we always use energy to survive. At a he uses his tricycle to move goods across the border, a business he says is challenging. Sembatia, a resident of Busia, is one of the few unhappy residents at this border town. He says that the new one-stop border post has made life difficult for him. This is due to increased taxation and a tough operating environment. How they treat us, the Tuliba Sanyo, because the, the, the way they treat us is not good for us. Sembatia's concerns are, however, watered down by a cross section of the public and the business community. Roni Dadi, a money changer, is pleased with the infrastructural development at the border, which he says has boosted the town's image. The, the place itself is clean because we were living in a muddy place, but up uh, now we are a bit okay. But uh, concerning with the business, it's a bit down. His sentiments are re-echoed by Odori Abdu, a border border rider. We ask, they ask us for, for the, the documents, and as soon as you show them the documents, you just cross and go on the other side. But those one who are supposed to, 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 to show them their passports, they have to, 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 to show them. If it is a problem, they have to send you go back and you pass in the main. Border borders began in the 1950s as people crossed the border between Uganda, Busia and Kenya by use of bicycles or motorcycle couriers. From the 1950s to date, the border border business has grown exponentially to become one of the biggest sectors of transport in the region and beyond employing hundreds of thousands of youth. Denis Ikoa for UBC News at the Busia border.